On today's episode, we're competing in the Hempstead Watermelon Festival CBA event. And well, it finally happened. It's Friday afternoon, so it's time for us to start injecting our pork, ribs, brisket, and chicken. Next up, we're gonna put a little bit of that base all over the meats, and then we're just gonna relax and enjoy the rest of the night. Now it's 6.30 a.m. on Saturday. It's time to start cooking all the meats. Today, we're starting off with brisket. The next meat we're gonna put on for our barbecue competition is our pork ribs. Once eight o'clock rolls around, it's time to start putting our money muscles and our pork on our drum. Today, we're running a 30 gallon race crew drum smoker, and this is the very first time we're using it in competition. And because we're running drums, the next few hours are gonna be very simple. We're gonna spritz the meat and we're gonna rotate it consistently, making sure we get that perfect cook. Chicken is the last meat to go on the smoker, but it's the first one that we turn in. This weekend, we're running chicken thighs. We're really hoping for a chicken call. So it's time to wrap our brisket. It's been on the smoker for right at three hours. I think that's enough smoke. I got a nice color on it, and I just want to get this bad boy nice and tender now. So one of the things that I noticed at the last event was that I had too much liquid in my wrap, and it was actually causing my bark to get really jacked up. So what I wanted to do today was just make sure... I went towards maybe like the bottom third of the brisket so it doesn't get out of hand. That's going to be enough wrap for me today. Brisket back on. We actually have the point right here. I'm just going to go ahead and take a quick peek, see what it's feeling like. No, still plenty of time. We still got plenty to go on that bad boy. So I'm not even probing that at all. Just uh, want to feel it. Ribs are looking absolutely fire today. Great color. That typical Southern hospitality. Ooh. You guys have seen me wrap ribs a few times already. We're going to go through it again. Sugar in the raw. These are sweet ribs. Bang. Blues Hog Original over top and if you don't know now you do that's exactly what i put on top i'm feeling nice today tell you guys everything there you go that's one wrap If you guys are watching this and thinking that these are gonna be like super duper sweet, well, you're partly right, right? So I might be adding a lot of sweet ingredients right now, but realistically in the very end, I can just change up the flavor on these. And that's what really makes competition barbecue different. That's what makes it so hard. Because if you taste these ribs and you just notice that maybe it's not the exact flavor that you were going for, you really can't change it like that. You just have to know how. I'm learning how to do that. I haven't mastered it and I'm definitely not the best at it, but it is something that I'm realizing I can do with my barbecue here when it comes to competition. So by now you guys can obviously tell we're running these thighs and I think that they're looking very, very good so far. So I'm not too sure exactly how these are going to do, but we just haven't been doing very well in chicken. So I figured that we really needed to switch it up. Now that we've got our chickens in our pans, we just want to get a little bit of butter inside and we want to cook these with foil until they're nice and bite through on the skins. So that's going to be around 200 degrees. We are going to put a thermometer into one of these just to monitor temps, just so we're not checking on them consistently. But our goal right now is to get that bite through skin and to get flavor into this chicken. We're gonna go ahead and check on our pork real quick. That man looks really dang good. I love seeing that pop right there. This money muscle right here is a little bit 
a little bit misshaped, but it's okay. We'll be good. What we're gonna do is, I did flip it real quick, but we're gonna go ahead and go inside. We're gonna get some foil and we're gonna wrap these up. Now we wanna get them nice and tender. So we just turned in our chicken thighs and we thought that they turned out absolutely delicious. But again, don't forget, it does not matter what we think and hopefully the judges really enjoy them as well. It had the bite through skin, so let's move on to ribs. So, okay, which one, these five, these need to go on top. Ribs just got turned in and I tell you what, they turned out absolutely incredible today. I really love the texture that came off the ribs, the flavor was there, it just turned out really, really good. Now we're going to move on to pork. This competition is nice and hot, there's a lot going on, it's been a lot of fun so far. Taste it. I'll taste it too, but let's see. What does that need, man? I don't even think it needs anything. Hurt that flavor right there is exactly what I want.
five minutes still. We just turned in a box full of monies that in my opinion looked absolutely outrageous. I'm loving the way the boxes are looking today. I'm loving the way they're tasting today. But again, let's see what those judges think. We have one more meat and that is brisket. Let's see what we can do. All right, moment of truth, ready? Next up, the chicken category, our seventh place, Alonzo Cantu, Gulf Coast Smoke. Rib category. Hold the pork, pork results. And granddaddy of them all, we're going to our brisket category, brisket category. All right, moving to sixth place, brisket. Alonzo Cantu, Gulf Coast Smoke. And you guys saw in the video, it finally happened. We placed outside of top 10 with our ribs for the very first time this year. I don't know how to feel about it. On the flip side, I definitely think that we still cook great ribs. We've had great success all year, but it stinks really bad when you finally get that chicken call and you're getting your brisket dialed in. And then of course you get that 40 second ribs. Last event, we got eighth place with our pork out of just around the same amount of teams. And this time we took 50th. So those are head scratchers. They definitely suck, but that's competition barbecue for you. We're not worried about it. We have another competition in Kingsville on the 29th. As always, we really appreciate you guys tuning into this video. What do you think? Maybe wings next time. Thanks, and we'll see you on the next one.